Yo, Heidi. Yeah. You know about this dude, Tuki? Tuki? Nah, man, who is he? John Walter Tuki, you ain't heard of him? Nah, nah, who is he? Math, man, he's a math dude. Calculus? Trade? Geometry? Nah, man. Not that. Stats. Stats? Yeah, man, I'll just tell you about him right now. Alright. Dustin Jang, Alex Hernandez, period 5, Miss Avakian, featuring Heidi Chu. Cristiani representing! Represent. Oh, yes, oh, yeah. about. It's about Tuki, Tuki. It's all about Tuki, y'all. Huh? Check it. He ain't your ordinary mathematician. John Ward the Tuki was a bomb statistician solving problems and equations like a magician. We're gonna teach you about him so you know we're on a mission to show you about this homie that you've been missing. He ain't no musician, physician, or electrician. So we're gonna drop it on you with no permission. So here's a lesson about him with no numbers, no addition. So open up your ears to hear this edition of Tuki. Get it right, Trick. It's all about Tuki, y'all. John Wilder, John Wilder Tuki. <laughs> Who's Tuki? Oh no. Yo, Bender, do you know who Tuki is? He don't know. Alright, Tuki was born in New Bedford, Massachusetts in 1915 and obtained a bachelor's in 1936 and a master's in 1937 in chemistry from Brown University before moving to Princeton University where he received a PhD in mathematics. PhD, huh? Yeah. That's a nice PhD. Yeah, that's a pretty good PhD, you know? During World War II, Tukey worked at the Fire Control Research Office and collaborated with Samuel Wicks and William Cochran. After the war, he returned to Princeton, dividing his time between the university and AT&T Bell Laboratories. Well, among many contributions to civil society, Tukey served on a committee of the American Statistical Association. So, yeah? Oh, oh. Tukey's statistical techniques played an influential role in the development of Dorian Shannon's simple confirmation six-pack test. Six-pack six tests were known for being much simpler than t-tests, being non-parametric, and having a basic rule set. He also contributed to statistical practice and articulated the important distinction between exploratory data analysis and confirm. Conf oh. oh. Okay, I did that. He also. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, start off from here. He also. Wait, start off from here. He also contributed to statistical practice and articulated an important distinction between exploratory data analysis and confirmatory data analysis, believing that such statistical methodology placed too great an emphasis on the latter. In 1970, he contributed significantly to what is today known as the jackknife estimation, also termed Kelno Tucky Jackknife. He introduced the box in his 1970 book, Exploratory Data Analysis. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. He Go! Huh? Yeah. Among many contributions to civil society, Turkey served on a committee of the American Statistical Association that produced a report challenging the conclusions of the Kinsey Report. Statistical problems of the Kinsey Report on sexual behavior in the human male. He was awarded the IE, the IEEE Medal of Honor in 1982 for his contributions to the spectral analysis of random processes and the fast Fourier transform algorithm, or FFT. Um, John Turkey, John Turkey died on July 26, 2000, at the age of 85 in New Brunswick, New Jersey. I love you, America. All right, this is Dustin Jang, and now you know everything about. Sir John W. Tukey. This has been a good project. Out. Tell me the duck story. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. A duck walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand, Hey, bum, 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 got any grapes? The man said, No, we just sell lemonade, but it's cold and it's fresh and it's all homemade. Can I get you a glass? The duck said, I'll pass.
then he waddled away, waddle waddle, till the very next day, bum 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 bum. When the duck walked up to the lemonade stand, and he said to the man running the stand, Hey, bum bum bum, got any grapes? The man said, No, like I said yesterday. 